What is up all my golfers out there? My name is Gavin and you're watching GC Golfing. Welcome back. Today's video, as you can see, will be a what's in my golf bag video from clubs to what's actually in it. Um, I was planning on making this early, early in the morning, but um, I've had some technical difficulties all day with the video being too long. So I have to make this one a little bit shorter, under, I would say, 12 minutes. Um, so without further ado, let's get into this. I have a few things to say at the end of the video, but that will come at the end of the video, like I just said. But let's get into this gear bag. So as you can see here, we have um, all my clubs as um, what it should be. But I have 12 clubs set here. I have a driver, three wood, three hybrid, and a four hybrid. Uh, five through nine irons, a pitching wedge, and a sand wedge, and of course a putter. So we'll start with my putter. We have the Top Flight XL Varsity putter. Um, really nice putter, has some grooves for ultimate feel on the ball. Stainless steel shaft with the uh, classic Top Flight, the XL Varsity putter grip. And then now to the sand wedge. Um, XL Varsity stainless steel sand wedge um, with stainless steel shaft, classic grip, stainless steel club head. And we got the uh, pitching wedge here, which is a um, Wilson Prestige uh, pitching wedge um, with the uh, true temper shafts and the crappy old Wilson grips. No grip at all. Um, I will be getting some multi-compound grips um, soon, very, very soon. And then we have we set the 9 through 5 irons. So I'm just going to show you the 9 because everything's the same for the irons. So I have the Wilson Prestige, which is um, all the irons, including the pitching wedge, has the deep undercut in them, which is very nice. Here's the 9 iron. I just cleaned my clubs today, so... <laughs> We'll same with the true temper shaft and the same crappy old grips. And then we'll go right to the hybrids. The, um, the three and the four are the same thing, um, just different degrees of lofts. The four hybrid is a 22 degree XL Varsity, stainless steel shaft, same grip. And I believe the um, three hybrid is 18 degrees. I'm gonna check just in case. Yeah, 18 degrees there. They're the same thing. Um, the three wood is um, different from the other systems. 15 degrees of loft, top light XL varsity. All my hybrids and my three woods and um, my driver all have the black face, which looks pretty cool. Um, this one, though, unlike other, it has the R Flex shaft, which is super nice because you can get a full back swing, full power swing. And you come right through, and if you hit that ground and you have made good ball contact, all you have to do is really stop there. So say this, say my hand is the ball. Hit it here, and then just go like that, and the ball will take off. Great shafts. Great with three wood. And then we got the old driver here. With the 10.5 degrees. By default, you cannot change it. If I would, I would have it at 9.5. Um, same thing with the R-Flex shaft, the same grip. Um, it's the same for my um, three wood two. So those are those are the clubs. And then now let's get into the bag, stand up for this. Um, set to the side here, we got my glove. We got the uh, Wilson Staff um, Prestige Glove here. Only problem I have with it is that it does rip and does wear down the material. And right between the fingers, it rips. So I mean, it's a good, it's a good beginner glove. It gives you a good feel on the on the clubs. Like with these Wilson grips, they're so bad, but like it has some feel to it. Um, so it makes me be able to feel the club a little better than I would without a glove. And here we have Sharpies. Um, we have four here. And I use these for the um, scorecard so I could keep um, 
it's more of so my OCD than it is for anything else. But I do I do like to have color coded so I know um, what I need to improve on and it, and it stands out to me. And we have the big T's and the small pocket here. These are driver T's. Best T's on the market, I say. These are the best. I think my favorite T's. Um, supposedly, they say, with these little grooves there, it um, impacts um, ball flight and, in and, and increases... Well, it in impacts ball flight and increases um, ball distance. And I, I figure it, it does help because my driver, I usually... I used to hit it about one... 186, 190, and now I hit it about 210, somewhere around there. I'll be going to the driving range tomorrow, and I'll be golfing on the course Sunday. So I'll be getting my stock numbers tomorrow, and I'll be uh, making a little, and I'll show you guys a few clips of me hitting the ball at the range. Um, but in this big pocket here, it's like the rain pocket. I have my club cover and a few rain necessities, like a raincoat that I have set up over there for Sunday, maybe. Um, we have my terrible towel for the Steelers. I hate Steelers, so I use this to mark up my balls, make sure my balls are nice and clean, get this thing dirty because I hate it. This is more for decorations, but it's really, really soft, and I use it to rub against the club faces, give it a little smooth touch. In the back here, I don't know. If, yeah, you get this big pocket here. We have my um, my balls that I use, um, or when I play at the course. We have I two the the same balls, the top flight bomb balls. Um, these are what I use to hit off the tee and on the fairway and stuff. And these ones I use to hit um, putts with. So the double O's are for putts, and the other ones are not. I have three of these and around 12 of these. And then, come in this top pocket, which is right above here. We have those same teens that I showed you before, but they had a baby. These things are for more for like par threes where I'm hitting an iron, or maybe hitting even a hybrid. Off the tee box. That's this. These are the tees I would use. And I just found this little tee. It's pretty cool. Um, that's that. Now pocket. We go to the final side here. There's a pocket down here, right there. And here we have practice balls. Um, these aren't your classic practice balls. I have a bunch more in there, but um, these are the balls that I find at courses. So I'll be playing golf, and I go, you know, looking somewhere, and I find a ball, and I'll pick it up, and I'll put it in my bag, and I use those to practice outside. As you guys saw, for my practice session part one, and the driving range clips will be practice session part two. I was going to do one today with the putting, but it didn't work because of the surface I'm working with is um, my carpet in my room, and it's it's too, too slow, so you can't get a really accurate putt, but um. And here in the last pocket, we have some course information. Like, we got a calculator here to calculate my scores. I'm going to show you this pretty embarrassing scorecard. This was before I started making some swing changes. Um, that, those are my scores. I scored 62 in the front nine and the back nine at 51. Um, so it was a huge, huge improvement by 11 strokes, which was pretty cool. But, um... I'm getting better, getting better as we go, and I will be showing you guys some clips when I go Sunday with my dad and my grandfather, or well, maybe my grandfather, and um, we'll compare these two scorecards. It might be two different um, courses, but um, we'll compare the two and we'll see how we do. And then we have just the uh, course guide here for Root Falls Plantation, which is um, also the course that I played here. That's about it for today guys um like i said i've been trying to get this up very like since this morning and it hasn't been working so i decided you know what i can't leave you guys hanging um i promised you guys a gear bag video today so i'm gonna do it and i did it and this should upload and be able to upload um so yeah guys hope you guys like it um if you guys want some reviews 
on these clubs. I will definitely be doing a review on them. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We might be going to the range and um, we can get my stock numbers. And I'll show you guys a little, a few little clips of me hitting my clubs and uh, maybe some putting and some chipping and whatnot. And then um, hopefully Sunday we can get some course clips for you guys of me hitting the ball, my dad, and my grandfather if he goes. Um, so that should be exciting. And then um, we might throw in a little Maury McElroy PGA Tour gameplay video for you guys tomorrow. Um, I started a guy uh, before and I was like 77 overall with him. Um, I might continue him or I might just start a brand new guy for you guys. And um, we'll see. We we'll see. We'll see what happens. So comment um, what you want to see in this channel. If you want to see some reviews on my clubs, if you want to see um, more practice sessions, if you want to see more course vlogs, definitely comment down below. I'm looking for a gap and a lob wedge. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment down below. Um, also, if you, what if some of you guys have um, the multi compound um, golf grips? Um, I'm looking into those. I might be getting those for my club. So if you think if you guys um, like those grips, please leave a comment down below. Um, like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, don't forget, guys, to keep golfing.